A what? The horn. What horn? The Italian horn that I got her. Oh. You don't get one because you're Irish. Mm -hmm. How would you wear an Italian horn? Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't. Brambalik, Scuchamen, Camuri. Fuck you too. <laughs> 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 hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction scene. It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. I'm Barbara. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for juicy content. Thanks for Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. We're going to get so bang. Bang. Follow us on our personal YouTube channel. Thanks for subscription. Bell. There's only one bell. Not when she's around. What? What does that even mean? It doesn't even mean anything. Yeah, you, you feel that way because you're Irish. What? We understand. We oh, understand. You don't. Yeah. It's a meat, the balls. Yeah. About fun boom. <laughs> Your mom does know balls quite well. Right? <laughs> uh, jingle balls, jingle balls. Don't encourage him. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for what we're doing That's here. That's okay, so you should you sing Blue Bayou. Why, why, why are you putting it over here? Because it's out of the way. It why are you putting it over here? You <laughs> Today we're racking to it. It's called Half Day. You want to wear it? I didn't get it to go put it, hang it on a tree. <laughs> All right. So what are we doing? It's the half day, the viral office rant. Uh, what? Read that. The half day viral office rant? Read that. This is a satirical video about the office culture in India, where employees who stay late in the office are considered hardworking, whereas the employees who work from nine to six and leave home on time are considered non-hardworking. Mm. Even employees who really work correctly from nine to six hesitate to leave the office on time as they're scared what their manager might say or think. You guys know Navan Polishetti from various movie trailers. Now he is a talented Telugu actor who has worked in a Bollywood movie as well. He quit his American IT job to pursue his cinema dream in India. Cool. Okay, so yeah. This is a funny sketch. It would be a sketch and just a little background for you, Mom, that the uh, Indians... The, <laughs> that would be working nine to six, as it was stating there, that would be considered like you're not a hard worker because if you're really working hard, you're gonna come in way before nine. You'd stay over. And you'd stay till seven or eight. Wow. And then you get home and you eat dinner between nine and 10. You go to bed between 12 and one maybe, and then you'd be back up and at the office by like eight o'clock. A lot, a lot of pressure. So I'm guessing this yes. is a little funny sketch about that kind of a work culture. Uh, in it, uh, we haven't. I don't. And that's a given, or that's just a. It's an expectation. In the same way, it's expected for kids to go to college and get a degree in something like engineering, doctor. engineering, doctor. And if you don't, it's not just an expectation for you as a child because it's a parental concern. It's you are bringing disrespect and failure to your whole family by not doing that. Yeah. It's a huge, huge pressure. Not everyone, but it's mm -hmm. a big. It's a big mm -hmm. thing. In yeah, for sure. Here we go. Alright, and then I'm gonna, here we go, here we go, here we go, get your horn on. Oh, that's oh, sorry, it is, look, it's working, sorry, it, there I you go. thought it was off. Here we go. Oh my god, he's leaving? Yeah, a half day. Right. He worked from 9 to 6, and they're shaming him for a half day. Yeah, Thank you. Excuse me? <laughs> 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 Point A, my dear colleague, if someone comes to work at 9 a.m. and finishes their work for the day and wants to leave at 6 p.m., then that's nine hours of me slogging my ass. <laughs> nine hours out of the 24 hours of my day that I have given to this company. Yeah. Nine precious hours of my life that I'll never get back. Nine hours <laughs> of slogging is what I'm paid for. Nothing more, nothing less. Facts. A problem here. कि तुम जैसे लोग रात भर ऑफिस में पड़े रहते हो, ऐसे काम करते हुए दिखाई देते हो, 
जिससे कि एक इंप्रेशन क्रिएट हो जाता है कि यार ये तो बड़ा हार्डवर्किंग एम्प्लॉय है ये बड़ा सीरियस है कमिटेड है रात भर बैठ के काम करता है कुछ लोग तो ऐसे ही फ्री ए और वाईफाई के लिए पड़े रहते हैं ये अपना सतीश ये रात भर बैठ के फोन देखता है नौ बजे उसका काम खत्म हो जाता है लेकिन मेल डालेगा रात के डेढ़ बजे ताकि बॉस को लगे ओ ओके ये रात के दो बजे तक बैठ के काम कर रहा था बड़ा हार्डवर्किंग है ये सब हार्डवर्किंग है ये सब कमिटेड है हम लोग जो सुबह से बैठकर फोकस के साथ बिना किसी इंटरप्शन के बिना किसी ब्रेक के काम करके शाम के छह बजे निकलने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं हमको क्या सुनने को मिलता है आमटे क्या बात है आप ले जा रहे हो आज तो क्या नाम था कैसा हाफ टे तुमसे कोई आके पूछता है कि जो पंद्रह घंटे काम करके जा रहे हो उसमें तुमने कितने ब्रेक लिए थर्टी सिगरेट ब्रेक्स उसके बाद चाय ब्रेक टॉयलेट ब्रेक लंच ब्रेक मैच एनालिसिस ब्रेक, डिबेट्स वाली ब्रेक जूसी ऑफिस गॉसिप वाली ब्रेक सारे ब्रेक मिला के नौ घंटों का काम तुम बारह पंद्रह घंटों का बना देते हो वॉट कैन एफिशियंसी ऐसे इन एफिशियंट लोगों के साथ हम क्या करते हैं तो बिठा देते अरे 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 दो बजे तक काम करता है अरे तो प्रमोशन देते हैं इसको ये तो चार बजे तक काम करता है इसको अगले साल में लंडन भेजेंगे ऑनसर्ट भेजेंगे Why? Why is staying late at work considered a virtue? Why are we rewarding and glorifying it? और जो efficient लोग हैं, जो time पे काम करके खत्म करके निकलना चाह रहे हैं, what do we do with them? We penalize them, we judge them, we make them feel guilty for their choices to leave on time. Why? Who is to blame for this? You, <laughs> you and an office culture that has gone unchecked for decades now. <laughs> घंटे काम करता है तुझे लगता है कि मैं बहुत बड़ा तीर मार लिया क्या हैं? ये कंपनी वालों ने तेरी पे एक फोटो लगा दी स्टार परफॉर्मर ऑफ द मंथ एम्प्लॉय ऑफ द मंथ तू बहुत खुश हो गया ना तू तो अंदर से यहां पे जिसका फोटो लगता है ना उसका सबसे बड़ा पता है <laughs> क्योंकि उसको ये तक नहीं पता कि इस क्यूबिकल के बाहर भी एक दुनिया है जो बहुत जरूरी है मेरे लिए वेन आई लीव दिस वर्क एंड गो आउट देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आई वॉन्ट I might have a wife, a family, a friend, whoever I want to meet. I might want to go to the pub with my friends and watch a game or play a game myself. Maybe I want to go for a run, read a book in my time, in me time. And I have every goddamn right to do that. Tu mujhe bata, ye office skill ke alawa aur kya tha tujhe? Kya tha? Guitar baja leta hai? Cooking, fishing, trekking, kabhi kuch kiya hai isse? Apne bachche ke sath kabhi walk pe gaya hai? Ice cream khaya hai uske sath? Kab karega ye? ये सब जरूरी नहीं है अब तू बोलेगा यार ये सब तो मैं वीकेंड पे करूंगा हाँ किसने बोला ये क्या जिंदगी सिर्फ संडे को जीने के लिए है कौन सी कंपनी ने बोला ये कि मंडे टू सैटरडे मरते रहो और सिर्फ लाइफ जो है संडे को जियो कहा लिखा है कितने साल का तू अभी तीस का ना दस साल बाद चालीस का हो जाएगा उसके बाद पचास का और फिर देखते देखते ना ई और बिल्स भरते भरते एक दिन तू मर जाएगा किसी को घंटा फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा जिस दिन मर रहा होगा तू बैठ के सोचेगा क्या किया यार मैंने कीबोर्ड के साथ खिलाया और कुछ नहीं मुझे नहीं मरना है सो आई एम गो राइट नाउ एंड एंजॉय द अदर हाफ डे ऑफ माय लाइफ गुड लक विद योर फुल डे आई थिंक यू प्रेस द बटन चल रहा गुगू ये तेरा भी फुल डे बाकी है अभी Very well done. Very well done. Very well done. Very well acted by that guy, actually. Very well I think acted. He did, I think he did a really good job. I did too. I was going to commend him for a very good monologue. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it a lot, and it was it was very accurate. I'm interested in something, not just about your take on this, but about what you do, because you stupid babies wouldn't know this, but my mom counsels people. How often do you encounter people who? If they're having an issue in their life, it's workaholism, workaholicism, mm -hmm. and it's because they do that and they find their merit and their value based on their career and the amount that they put into their career, but they're not putting it in. A, is that a really common occurrence with people who have issues at home? I don't know so much about issues at home. Yeah, it can be, but mostly is they haven't really found what their purpose is. I think I think mm -hmm. that their purpose is designed through what they are doing and accomplishing, and that could be materialistic, right. you know, materialistic things, right. or 
they don't have close intimate relationships with people that have quality to them. So that's the quality they get is in those things. Right. Common. Pretty much, but pretty empty. Mm -hmm. and empty living. Right. You know? Yeah. Well, he's right. Because at the end of the day, when all is said and done, you look back on your life and the time that you spent. And that is one of the most common themes that you hear from people on their deathbed is their like the biggest regrets are what they did with their time. And they wish they had mm -hmm. not been afraid to pursue their dreams, spent more time with their friends and family. You never have on deathbeds, I wish I'd spent more time at work. Yeah. And obviously India has a very different work culture than yeah. we have here, even though it is, it is something here. The, the American work week, you're expected, especially in the professional life, like real adulting life, right. people that have nine to five jobs, you're expected to work 40 hours a week, possibly do overtime if they ask Or to you. have achieved a certain level of work advancement and economic stature by yeah. a certain age. Yeah. And if you haven't, you're a, you're a failure. Yeah, we have our own issues here. Obviously, the American capitalism society has its own big, yeah. big problems. Here, obviously, it's a very different culture in India. But yeah, I've always, I've always been that way. I've never been one. I'd, I'd, <laughs> like, I've always had a problem with, even though the small jobs, Starbucks or whatever, those kind of jobs that I've had, the, pe the, the ones that say, like, we're a, we're a family, it's all bullshit. Mm -hmm. Right. No. They say they're a family. My, my, no, my family is my, my family. family. You're my, I, I'm here because I need money. Right. That's the, that's our relationship. I'm not going to do more for you. If you ask me to go do something, if you pay me, I will go do it. Right. But that's, I promise you, I won't see you at Christmas. No. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not working overtime just because you'd asked me to. I have a life outside of that is yep. way more important than in you. Yep. And I've always been very high strung about that. I've, very strict about spending time with my family. Yes. And if you're, if you, especially when I was like working at uh, odd jobs, I don't care. Like, no, I, my family but is much more important. And than it is, <laughs> and it is. There's situations here where you don't have a choice. Sometimes, like when I was a courier for Federal Express, mm. um, I could have had plans that evening with my family, and as a full time courier, yeah, I could be done with my route, have clocked out, be going to the car, and a manager say. Rick, we need you to clock back in and cover a pickup shift. And I could say, I've got plans with my family. And they'd say, did you take the day off? And I'd say, no, they said, you're full time. We can write you up for subordination. Go pick up the extra shift. I bet you could have sued them for that. I probably could have at the time, <laughs> yeah. but. Uh, because even when I worked Amazon uh, for delivering packages, if you did, you had like a four hour window. Right. You, you tried to do the same. If you didn't finish it within that time, you could bring a package back because that was your allotted time and that you were you, done. That you were done. Yeah, not so a FedEx. Obviously, uh, I I could have still delivered it if I didn't. I usually always finish in that time, but I could have brought the package back and like, um, my shift is done. Here's the package. Mm -hmm. You have to deliver this later, which I believe is probably how FedEx is now. But obviously, when you were working there, probably wasn't sure. I bet they got sued. They if may that have was, if that well, was their culture. And then there's another culture, which is there's something. This is, I mean, you were just telling me the other day about how when you were teaching aerobics, yeah, you were doing 21 classes a week, which mm. was a breach of whatever their contract yep. with their instructors right. were. Right? But you were doing that because you were like, hey, give me the money. I'm gonna bust my butt. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. able to yeah. physically able to, but doesn't mean I should have been. A lot, right. A lot of times, companies will take advantage of because they know people need well, the money. Right. That's what happened with her because eventually what happened? Blew my knees out. Blew her yeah. knee out. Teaching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, it's, it's, we do have some of the cult. Obviously, it's much more intense in India. Yeah. Because obviously, a lot of the people believe in that culture too, uh, which is a big problem. But yeah, like people need money here because it's expensive to live here. Yeah. And so people are like, yeah, you need it. You're going you're gonna to stay. You're going to do overtime. <laughs> yeah. Even though in California, they... They don't do a lot of overtime anymore because it's quite expensive here yeah, to uh, have uh, employees do overtime. <laughs> no, it's true. And they do a lot of part-time hiring so they don't have to give them health benefits. Exactly. Yep. Uh, but yeah, good video. I, I Great did, video. I did enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Uh, let us know what other videos you should react to uh, down below. <laughs> Look, <laughs> my